Sterilization and disinfection are techniques which are used to prevent the growth and spread of microorganisms. Sterilization is a process of killing all microorganisms, while disinfection is the process of killing only pathogenic organisms. The method of sterilization can be done through chemical, physical, or physical chemical processes. A typical example is with an autoclave set at temperatures of 120 to 125 degrees Celsius for around 15 to 20 minutes. On the other hand, disinfection can be done through physical and chemical means. Although the effect is not absolute since endospores may still grow despite application of disinfectants. Common disinfectants include alcohol and bleach. The process of sterilization and disinfection are important as these methods could prevent growth and spread of pathogenic or harmful microbes, which often lead to the spread of diseases. For example, in surgeries, Medical devices are disinfected, while surgical tools are sterilized to prevent infection. These practices are not only applicable in hospitals, but also at our homes and at school. We need to disinfect or sterilize common household items, especially those that are frequently touched, to prevent the spread of diseases. Although often associated with harmful effects, bacteria, Protists and fungi may also be beneficial to humans and to the environment. For example, bacteria such as Lactobacillus species can be used in the fermentation of wine and other dairy products such as cheese and yogurt. Some types of bacteria are also used in the production of vaccines. Some species of protists can serve as food to humans and or other aquatic organisms. As for fungi, some species are edible and are considered to be medicinal. Others are used in baking and alcohol fermentation. They also help in the decomposition of dead organic matter. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.